Good morning, my name is Ed Garber with Star CNC. I'm the National Sales Manager, and I wanted to introduce you to the SR32 J3 Type B. As you can see here, this is the Type B. There's two types, uh, Type A and Type B, and it has to do with the backworking capabilities. Eight tools versus six tools for the backworking is the big difference between the two. Uh, the SR32J actually has been around since the late 1990s, and this is the fourth iteration of this machine with improvements over the period of time. Some of the things that makes it very special is the fact that it's got dovetail construction for the overhead uh, turning tools in this machine. And that's a common feature in some of our uh, machines that um, handle heavy cuts. And that's what it's designed for, heavy cuts, dampening vibration, longer life. And that's one of the things that makes this machine special. Specifically on the machine, the dovetail construction is overhead for the turning tools right here. That allows for rigidity. So as opposed to using a linear system, it is full dovetail. And it's set up in a design in a manner so that it's engineered for the angle of that dovetail construction meets with that cutting tool right at the cutting point on the material. Also, on the, on the cross-working tools back there, you can see three live cross-working tools that are ER20. Below it are the two cartridge positions where we can put in uh, polygon machining, thread whirling, slotting attachments, additional cross-working, additional face live working that gives that capability. In the back here is the Y2 axis. So you've got, again, four tools over top of four tools, fully programmable Y axis. Uh, you can see the subspinal is designed in a manner that it can get in there for more capabilities to be done on the workpieces. Some of the other capabilities that make the machine different is that there's gonna be five live cross working tools. The top three tools are ER20. So again, for heavier duty cutting, uh, the bottom two positions are convertible stations. They're made for thread whirling, slotting, uh, live face working, live counter face working. There's a lot of different things that you can do in those bottom two stations. Um, again, so the back working also is unique in that it comes in two different configurations, either six tools in a line or eight tools where there's going to be four over top of four with a Y2 axis. And that Y2 axis is fully programmable. In other words, you can do cross tapping, you can do cross peck drilling, uh, we can do slotting off center. There's, there's many things that you can do with that capability. It is a servo driven programmable axis. Uh, this machine is also capable of running with or without the guide bushing. Um, so you've got the capability to run shorter parts while saving some remnant and also saving cost in the quality of the material. When you're not running a guide bushing, you don't need the same finished quality that you do if you're running a guide bushing. When we talk about the capability of the machine to run with or without a guide bushing, uh, specifically what we're talking about, what happens is um, we remove the actual guide bushing unit from the machine we change a keep relay in the control, which then tells the machine that it needs to move the main spindle forward. And you can see the seal, this diameter right here goes into that housing and seals it off so that now it, it won't allow chips or oil to go back into the main spindle cabinet. It seals it off and it also limits the travel so that it cannot accidentally come out of that fit and allow the coolant and the chips to get in there. So, to, to, to um, put the guide bushing unit back in there, we do it in just the opposite. We turn that keep relay off, the main spindle moves backwards, gets out of the way, we replace the guide bushing unit, and we go back into operation with the guide bushing. That operation can take, depending on the size of the machine, anywhere from, say, 35 minutes to up to an hour and 15 minutes. The larger machine taking more time because of the mass involved. So that's some of the capabilities of this machine that, that make it stand out from our competition been around for a very long time. It's a very proven platform. Um, it was also built up. The, uh, the casting was, I think, about 20% uh, added to that casting when we came out with this design, again, for rigidity. This machine is all designed for rigidity for heavy cuts. When we get into inch and a quarter size material, that's when it starts to make a difference. Everybody wants to get chips off of the machine as fast as, or off of the parts as fast as they can. If you'd like more information on this machine or any one of our machines, contact Syracuse Supply and uh, they can put together a proposal, take a look at your applications and get you a solution.